Rising seas, what a one-meter sea level rise by 2050 means for our future. Imagine a world where entire coastal cities are submerged, millions lose their homes overnight, and vital ecosystems vanish beneath the waves. This isn't a dystopian movie, it's a reality we might face if climate change accelerates and sea levels rise by one meter by 2050. Are we prepared for this future? Sea levels are climbing at an alarming rate, driven by melting polar ice caps, warming oceans, and human-induced climate change. By 2050, scientists project that a one-meter rise in sea levels could permanently inundate low-lying areas, including iconic cities like Miami, Shanghai, and Jakarta. This drastic change threatens to displace over 150 million people globally, creating climate refugees and straining resources. Coastal erosion, flooding, and saltwater intrusion will jeopardize agriculture, freshwater supplies, and local economies, leaving communities in turmoil. Major cities near coastlines face existential risks from sea level rise. Imagine landmarks like the Statue of Liberty or Venice at the mercy of storm surges, tides, and unchecked flooding, scenes that were once unthinkable. As the oceans encroach on land, millions will lose their homes, livelihoods, and cultural heritage. The rise of climate refugees will put immense pressure on governments to relocate and support displaced populations. This mass migration could spark tension over limited resources, increase poverty, and disrupt entire regions. Vulnerable populations in developing nations, who contribute the least to climate change, will face the greatest challenges. Rising seas will not only impact humans but also devastate coastal ecosystems. Mangroves, coral reefs, and wetlands, key buffers against extreme weather, could be submerged, leaving coastlines exposed to hurricanes and tsunamis. The loss of these habitats will harm biodiversity and fisheries, depriving millions of food and income sources. Without nature's defenses, the consequences of natural disasters will only worsen. We still have time to alter this trajectory. First, we must aggressively reduce greenhouse gas emissions by shifting to renewable energy, enhancing energy efficiency, and advocating for bold climate policies. Acting now can slow the melting ice and curb rising seas. Second, investments in adaptation are critical. Building resilient infrastructure, restoring natural coastal barriers, and planning for managed retreat in high-risk areas can mitigate damage. Governments, communities, and activists must unite to prepare for the inevitable. Now is the time for environmental activists to amplify their voices. Raise public awareness, pressure leaders to adopt climate-friendly policies, and support organizations working to protect vulnerable communities. Together, we can drive meaningful change. We cannot sit idle while the seas rise. Share this video, join climate initiatives, and fuel discussions that demand urgent global action. The future is still in our hands, let's safeguard it for generations to come.